Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Airflow Tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we have built a data pipeline in Airflow using Google BigQuery from scratch. Uh, starting from this tutorial, I will talk about some advanced features in Airflow. Uh, specifically in this tutorial, we will start to explore how to use Airflow variables. So let's get, let's get started. So what is Airflow variables? Um, variables are key value stores in Airflow metadata database. So it is used to store and retrieve arbitrary content or settings from the metadata database. So when do you use variables? So variable is mostly used to store static values like uh, config variables, a configuration file, list of tables, or list of IDs to dynamically generate tasks from. The benefit of using uh, Airflow variable is that now you can separate the variable from the pipeline code. Um, so usually our workflow, our DAG, is defined through the Python code, right? And we used to store and keep track of the DAG through the source code control like GitHub. But if we turn some of the config variable to Airflow variable, then you, you can access or modify the Airflow variable through the UIs. Um, so if you remember in the previous tutorial when we build a BigQuery GitHub trend DAG, we have these three uh, config variables. And now if I want to change any of them, right, I, I have to go in here directly in the code and change them. What if I can access them through the Airflow UI and the, the code is only one version of it, right? I don't want to keep changing it every time I want to call, come in here and change the config variable. And this this one can be changed multiple times, right? So if I, I can separate the code from these three variables and I can just go into the Airflow UI and modify them and change them whenever I want, and that will be a lot better. So before we dive in, let's first learn how to work with uh, variables. So for this tutorial, I want you to clone the GitHub repo of, uh, associated with the uh, Airflow tutorial. And the first thing you want to do is to cd to the repo and type docker compose up minus d. And this will start the Airflow uh, environment up, right? So to work with variables that, you know, variable can be listed, created, and up updated to the UI. So when you start the Airflow environment, this is what you see, right? This is the Airflow environment. And if you go to admin variable, this is where you can create uh, edit or delete your variable and if you have JSON setting fine you can even do bulk upload it to here through UI you can choose fine and you can upload it all your JSON setting file here and it will only create the variable here specifically for this tutorial I have created this, this uh, workflow for you to go through so if you go to the example into example in DAX we will have this uh, example variable DAX and this is specifically for this tutorial that the, the code for this tutorial that we will go to. So usually when we define config variable, uh, we define it uh, you know commonly. We just put it directly into a code. But this is a very bad example because a, a very bad usage because every time we want to change it or edit it or delete it, we have to go directly into the code and uh, manually edit it or change it here. So if we want to change them into airflow variable, this is what we're going to do. So let me show you uh, here. So we go to uh, admin variable, right? And this is where we're going to edit it. So the first va uh, variable here, for example, the key, we'll hit create. The key is for one. The value is value one. Right, hit save, and that will create a key value pair. Uh, like I said, uh, Airflow variable is a key value store in the Airflow metadata database. Uh, now variable two, we do the same thing, key value, right? Hit save, In variable three, we do the same thing here, key value pair, and we hit save. So we have three variable. So now we have these three variable, right? And in order to access this, we can access it through variable.get for one, for two, for three. And we access this by the key and it will return we back the value of these three value, the key value pair that we put it here. Now, this is a fine setup for our database connection, but it is not the recommended way. Why is it? So let me tell you. So the recommended way is you restrict the number of airflow variable in your DAG. So since Airflow variable are stored in metadata database, 
any call to variable would mean that a connection to the metadata database, right? So instead of storing a large number of variable in your DAG, which may end up saturating the number of allow connection in your database, it is recommended you to store all of your DAG configuration inside a single uh, airflow variable with the JSON value. So if you can store it instead of one, two, three variable, you put it as a key value pair like this. So the best way for you to create this key value pair as one airflow variable is that, remember I told you that airflow can upload a JSON file. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. So in this DAG config folder, I created a JSON file. So the key is example variable config. So this is the config for our example variable DAG. And this is the key value pair of our DAG. And how are you gonna, gonna put this file into the Airflow UI? You're gonna do something like this. So I have in the same thing in the DAG folder here. I have in the config, file, uh, config folder, I have the example variable.json file, and which I have you now show you, which is just a key value pair of all the variable that we need uh, in our you know, Airflow DAG. And all you need to do is just track it here and click import and then voila we have the key which is the example variable config which is uh, storing all the variable uh, all the config variable for our DAG and this is the all of the value of the key and we can access it by what by variable dot get and the key in our airflow variable this is the key right here and this is the exact name and we put uh, deserialize JSON. I mean, it turned the whole JSON and deserialize it. And then we can access it, right, var1, var2, var3 with it. So we only use one connection to get the key value pair of the airflow variable. And then we can access it uh, as a dictionary. It's very simple like that. So this is the recommended way for you to create only one variable to use um, throughout your whole you know, workflow or your DAP. Um, but also another uh, feature which Airflow allow is that um, if you want, you can directly access a variable using what called Jinja template. So for example, uh, if you have you know a key called var3, uh, like like we show um, here, uh, var3 and the value is value three, you can access this by using the Jinja template format like this. So var dot value and var3. So it will get the value of this key in the airflow variable database and also if you have a json uh, config or json format like this instead of using variable.get you can do exactly right uh, the chincha template here which is var.json.example variable config and then the key inside that um, json variable now let's run to an example of this whole uh, DAG to see what is the input output of each test. So if you want to run the test only specifically for this test, you can use this command. So if you run to the Docker environment uh, and run the test only for this test, which is the test idea of this is get DAG config. And all it does is it print L or equal L in the batch environment, the DAG config that we get here, right? So let's run through this, in this command to see what is the output of this task. So I'm gonna type here, I'm gonna paste in here and click run. So you can see running command here, it's equal and the DAC config we do, uh, is correctly set, key value of value uh, variable one, uh, this is the value of variable two and this is the uh, value uh, variable of uh, the value of variable three, and this is the output. It just print out the DAC config that uh, we get from the airflow variable. Now, if if you don't want to get the DAC config here, you can also use the Chincha template instead of variable to get. This is the same thing. It's variable and get the value of variable three. And so let's run through this, right? So let's test this task. Same thing. Now we're gonna test task number two. And it's doing the same thing, it's equal L, and this is the value 
of variable 3 and this is the output and what if you want to do the same thing but to get the uh, value of variable 3 instead of from this uh, airflow variable here you want to get it from the JSON uh, variable then you will use this um, Jinja template here which is var.json the key which is the example a variable config and then uh, the, the key value pair inside that JSON uh, dictionary right so we're gonna run through this test to see the output and yes this is the same thing as we expect so we just learned how to access the airflow variable inside our DAG, right? So instead of setting in a common way, now we do it in the recommended way to, so now we can, you know, edit or delete or access the variable in the UI here. But another benefit of using airflow variable is that you can even access this from the command line. That means you can run some uh, CRUD operation on variable instead of you have to go in here click edit or get or set the access uh, the variable here you can now do it in the command line so i put a couple of command line here for you to try for example if you want to get the value of variable one right the key evil one and the value of it's one one and you don't want to you know log into your airflow and, and get it you can do it from the command line so how we go do it? We're gonna run through this command. So it is airflow variable and get, and then the key of the airflow variable they want to get, and it returns you the value of it. Another command is what? Another command is a uh, set value of variable four. Now if you want to set uh, or edit uh, the value of a new uh, variable, you can do something like this. So that means airflow variable set, and then it will, if the uh, variable have uh, didn't exist, it will only create a new one and set the value of this. So it is key value, right? So if you go to the um, UI and if you refresh it, you should see var four and value four, right? Yeah, and you can even set the, you can even import the variable. Uh, JSON file. So if you store, so that is why I have the config file locally here. And the benefit of it is if you have a giant config file right, with a lot of variable, hundreds of thousands or thousands of variable to, to power your workflow, your deck. I've never seen it that bad, but I've seen a case where you have like tens, tens of variable, right? So you can create a JSON file and you store it someone else and every time you want to edit or, de uh, or delete or you know make some changes to your variable you can just make changes in your JSON file and you import it directly and it will change here in the UI so if you want to change this instead of you know uh, key uh, here is value 3 we want to change it to something like test and hit save and now we can run through this command here so we run through docker compose airflow variable and then we import that file and then that would make an edit to change the value of that key so now it's going to run through and import the new file and you see the output here one of uh, the variables successfully updated if you go back to the airflow ui and then we refresh it you see this value tweet change to test so that's how you deal with uh, variable and make everything much easier from now on because all the config file, all the config variable will be stored directly in the Airflow metadata database. And then all of this key uh, value pair of variable is globally accessed. That means all of your DAG, so not just this one DAG, but all of the DAG or all of the new DAGs that you want to create and you want to access that variable, all you need to do is variable.get and the key of that variable and that's it and you access it so it's not just power locally your DAC if you put it here this all this variable is locally you're gonna share it and you cannot access this another DAC you have to do a lot of copy and paste right but if you put it 
in the airflow variable, it will immediately store in the database, then all of this is globally accessed, and I mean all it will power all of your DAC. If you have a config file that share among a DAC and you change one, it will affect all the DAC changes. That would be a lot better. So with the lesson learned in this example variable DAC, how are we gonna make our BigQuery GitHub train DAC better? So as I told you, we have this config variable here, right? Now we don't need them anymore. We will turn them into a JSON file. So this is the BigQuery GitHub train variable. And this is the key value pair that we turn these three into the key value pair here. And all we need to do is store in the JSON file, upload to the Airflow UI. And now this is the correct way to access this variable. We're gonna do something like this instead of what we do as before. We do the same thing. We turn into a config, a one config variable, and we just access it to variable.get. And this is the key, similar here, the key of the variable, the name of the variable. And because this is a JSON um, a file, we have to do deserialize JSON equal true, and it will deserialize it. And now we can access all of the you know key value pair in this variable airflow variable as follow similar to a python dictionary so this is the end of the tutorial so in this video we have learned about airflow variables and when to use it to make our deck better so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial so far don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel for more great content thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video